your five archers, right? And on many windows, there might be there might be several of them. Okay, so let's say I'm doing a really big piece of glass, and I have let's say this is my 18-inch squeegee, and that's the largest squeegee we have. But we have this gigantic piece of glass. Well, of course, you'll have you'll have like 14 archers. Okay. You're going to come down here and you need to launch every single one of them, okay? They have to launch. Okay, so just to get more specific, when that squeegee's backing up, okay, let's say my squeegee is backing up. So look how it is right there. Look how much water is on the channel. When that squeegee backs up, look at what it's doing, okay? When, you're, when that archer's backing up, it's drying your squeegee. Okay, so when you back up, now you have, there's a little dry strip on here. So now when I shoot back up, it's, it's a dry squeegee recleaning wet window now, not a wet squeegee streaking, okay? So on this, so I'm gonna just do it with this small one, <clears throat> just to be redundant a little bit. up and over, up and over. And what I want you to imagine is that this is an arrow every time, okay? And just, just watch the channel. Don't watch my hands, don't watch anything else. Just watch the movement of this channel, okay? Okay, so in using this principle, let's say I have a smear right there. I don't need to wash the whole window again. All I need to do is get it wet. <clears throat> Your first archer always starts in the woods, okay? And the other ones are on the edge of the woods. The woods is the actual wet glass. So he starts in here and he shoots straight out of the woods, okay? And he's gonna leave a streak about an inch high. So when you come back over, make sure you get that streak, okay? Float it down. And if you, if you keep leaving marks because the window dries fast, it's the same thing. See how I'm shooting out of the, see? It's the same movement, no matter what size window you have. It's the same movement, same principles. Okay, so I've been redundant with the arrow shooting thing. So here's the next part of what I'm gonna say. With the, with the archers, um, you want to have space, okay? So I'm going to cut this window down here and actually do a smaller window. Go. Okay, so here's what I've noticed a lot of trainees do. They're here, and now they got to turn their squeegee. Now they come here, and now they got to turn their squeegee, okay? What you want to do is, if you're going to start in the middle of the window, you only have this much space to turn, okay? And to turn a 12-inch squeegee with only 12 inches is going to be difficult. So you want to start, you want to start back here. So now you have a squeegee and a half length to turn. <clears throat> so I'm going to start back here, okay? Now I have plenty of time to turn. Okay, if I come down here and I start coming back up, look at how much space I have to turn. I have less than, I have about 12 inches exactly. So on my second turn, on my second turn here, I need to drop this edge quickly. Okay, now when I shoot back up, now look how much space I have to turn. I have a squeegee and a half. You always want a squeegee length and a half, no matter what size squeegee you have. You want a squeegee length and a half to turn. <clears throat> so I gotta drop this corner. Now when I come back up, I have a squeegee length and a half to turn. And it gets it right next to that next archer. And because I've aimed him to 22 degrees and I've, I've dove this pedal down, I've dove this side of the squeegee down, now I can come back up. <clears throat> okay, so a smaller window like this, watch how quickly I dive it. 
dive it down, dive it down, lock. Okay, so now in most windows, you're gonna have a lot of space to turn, and so it'll be nice and easy. So to conclude, you have your archers, you have your spacing, okay, which is a squeegee and a half length, no matter what size you have. And remember, <clears throat> when, when that archer shoots the squeegee up and over, your eyes need to be right on that window <clears throat> because when you come back up and over, you need to see that you missed this spot. Okay, you gotta look, you gotta be watching what you're doing. And now this archer, his number one goal is to get the squeegee over that. So he's gonna shoot that over there, let it drift to the next guy. Okay, you really need to compartmentalize each stroke of the squeegee to, okay, my first one. Okay, now I'm done with step one. Now lock it down. And this step two, focus on this one step. Lock it down. Now focus on your next step, okay? And if you take your time and the window dries, just re-wet where your next archer needs to go. Start him in a shooting position and shoot up and over those marks.